Here, I'm going to show you guys how to put all of your most used commands on their own custom ribbon tab over here. That way you don't have to go through everything. And in addition to the buttons over here that you're used to, we also have a legacy button that you can't normally get access to. So a legacy text import wizard if you want that and I'll show you where to find those buttons, as well as you can attach macros. And I'm going to show you how to make macros that you attach from this workbook right here, but also so you can access them from every single workbook on your computer. This is really going to increase your productivity quite a bit. And if you want to learn more about how to build macros and automate your workflow and make your life so much easier in Excel, saving yourself hours and hours of time every single week, Check out my full VBA course that'll take you from beginner and intermediate level all the way to advanced and expert level. Over 50 hours of tutorials, over 200 separate video tutorials with 200 separate downloadable Excel reference guides and files where you can copy and paste the code into any new project to get a jump start on it. It really is a great course and when you take it, you have direct email support access with me in case you have any questions. Now, let me show you how to make your own ribbon tab. It's very easy. In later versions of Excel, all you do, go up here, right click, go to customize the ribbon. And on the left side, we have all of the commands that we can add. And over here, we have our current ribbon menu. So to add a new little section, a new tab, just click over here and go to new tab. And we have a new tab with a new group. All of the commands that we are going to add have to be added into their own group. And a group, if we look to the left over here, it's just a little section for your buttons. And once we have our tab, let's go ahead and click that guy and go down here to a rename and give it a new name. How about just for now, my new tab. Hit OK. And for my first group, I'm basically just going to remake this guy a little bit down here. Let's click new group. Let's go to a rename. Let's call this guy Data Setup, and uh, let's give it a little icon. Now the icon that you choose here is only going to be visible when the window is so small that you can't see all of the buttons in that group. So you're not always going to see it. But let's click one anyway, okay. And let's go over here. This drop down menu right here allows you to more easily find the command that you want. So we have popular commands, commands not in the ribbon, very helpful for legacy controls, then all commands, macros, and then a few tabs down here. So let's go to main tabs. This is great to find a command if you know where that is on the ribbon menu already. So this is basically your ribbon menu. So let's go to insert and how about tables? And I want to get a pivot table, but pivot table from table range. So I click it and click the correct group over here. Uh, then we can click add. And let's go ahead and get insert table as well. Add, and we are starting to build out our tab. How about a new group down here? So we click it, new group. And this time let's go ahead and put in a macro. Rename my macros. Okay. And we will go here, we will go macros select the macro. Now this macro is in the workbook that we have open here. I'll show you how to make it a bit more robust so you can access all macros in just a moment. Because this macro will not be available if I open up a different workbook. But like I said, we're going to fix that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and add a legacy control right now. So new group and let's rename that guy. How about a legacy and Maybe I will give it a nice boring icon for the group. Okay. But what I want, let's go commands not in the ribbon. And let's go all the way down here. You kind of have to know what the name of the button would be already. Because for instance, all of these import options are not inside of an import group. But I want from text legacy. Click add. Now what if you add something that you don't want like from web legacy? All you do, click the item over here and remove it. How about if you want to switch around the order of these guys? Well, you can click anything in here and then hit the arrow and it will move it within its group. You can click the group as well to have it to move like that. Or you can go up here, click the arrows to move the tabs or any one of these things, just click and drag down to reorder them. 
So it's really easy now to do this. And I suggest that if these are your most often used commands, go ahead and put that guy towards the front of your ribbon menu. And before we view our new tab, let's go down here to customizations. We can reset it. So we can reset only selected ribbon tab or all customizations. Because what we can actually do, this is rather interesting, is go to an existing tab. So let's say the home, and we can add a new group to that. And then we can go ahead and add a command to that new group. And let's go ahead and put it at the front of our tab. So then when we go down here to a reset, we can reset only selected ribbon tab. It will reset the home tab or reset everything or click this guy and click remove. And then you have options to export this or import other customization files. But let's hit OK. Check out our new tab over here. It is amazing how easy it is to do this now. And we have our macro as well. And let's go to the home tab and we have our new command here to hide the ribbon. But now that you know how to do that, let's go ahead and add a macro that we can access from every single workbook. So all we have to do is to create our personal macro workbook. How do we do that? Well, we go to record a macro and we can go here to the view tab and macros record macro. And for store macro in, choose personal macro workbook. Hit OK. And we can just stop the recording now. So click this, stop recording, or do everything from the buttons in the bottom left of the window. But now hit Alt F11. And over here we see our personal macro workbook where we can have macros that we can access in every single workbook. So let's go ahead and create a new one. New macro test and just message box. Hi again. Then Alt F11 to go back here. And let's go to customize the ribbon. And let's go to our new tab. And my macros. And over here, macros. Notice we have personal.xlsb. We want new macro test. Add. But let's rename it so we don't have that horrible, long, ugly, non-descriptive name. Hi. And let's change the icon for this guy as well. How about that one? Hit OK. And OK. And my new tab, test and hi. And now this macro is going to be accessible to all of the workbooks on your computer. However, if you send this file to somebody else, it's not then going to be accessible. But that's not going to matter because neither are these customizations for the ribbon menu. But that's how you can sort all of your favorite, most often used commands in their own little tab or add multiple tabs. Just rearrange this whole thing so it works better for you. And then if you go to a new computer, export the customizations here and import them there. And save your macros in the personal.xlsb or workbook so you always have access to them on your computer. You can also export that guy, but I'm not going to cover all of that in this tutorial. That's how you can add a custom interface that's going to make it easier to access your commands. And if you want to automate your workbooks and improve your productivity even more, then check out my full VBA course. I'll put a link to it below this video. And that course will teach you how to automate pretty much everything that you do in Excel to save you hours and hours of time every single week.